Hey everybody, I've been doing some upgrades to my Dell XPS 8900 and wanted to do a how-to on installing a CryoRig H7 CPU cooler. The stock CPU fan had been running pretty fast even when the computer was idle. I installed CPU ID and found that my idle CPU temps were averaging in the high 30s to low 40s, which is just way too high for a stock i7-6700. I chose the uh, CryoRig H7 cooler because it was the only reasonably priced high performance cooler uh, that I could find that had um, a 120 millimeter fan and would fit in the XPS 8900. Um, a lot of the options like the Cooler Master Hyper 212 are just way too tall. To install this uh, you're going to have to remove the motherboard. There's no way to get access to the back plate behind the CPU without taking the motherboard out of the case. Um, the easiest thing to do is remove the case fan and hard drive first so that you can get easier access to the rest of the cables and the screws and then remove the motherboard. Once you get the motherboard out and the stock CPU cooler off, um, you're going to need to clean all the residual um, thermal compound off the top of the CPU. The back plate is actually held in place by the same three screws that hold the CPU retention bracket in place. So you're going to need to take those three screws and the CPU retention bracket off to release the back plate from the motherboard. Be really careful around the exposed CPU socket. You don't want to drop a screw or do anything that's going to damage it. To mount the H7, the easiest thing to do is just modify the stock backplate instead of using the plastic one that comes with the cooler. All you have to do is remove these four press-fit threaded sleeves that fasten the stock cooler to the plate. I used a hammer and a steel punch and they came right out. Once you've done that, you can take the included mounting screws and push those through the uh, four holes in the back plate through the motherboard um, and then use the, the plastic standoffs um, push those onto the screws to hold those in place then reinstall your uh, CPU retention bracket now you can apply the included thermal paste uh, what I've got pictured here is maybe not quite twice what you actually need I went back and scraped some of that off. Then peel off the protective plastic from the cooler itself and uh, go ahead and screw it to the motherboard. This is a picture with the fan installed, but you don't actually want to install the fan until after you've got the motherboard back in the case and the hard drive installed, because otherwise you won't get the hard drive into the tray. At this point, just reinstall everything in the reverse order that you removed it and uh, install the fan onto the cooler. I think the uh, trickiest thing uh, was getting the case fan plugged back into the motherboard. Over in the corner, it's a tight fit there with this uh, larger cooler installed. Here's a picture of the installed CryoRig H7 with the stock cooler sitting on top of it just for a relative size comparison. The stock heatsink is really pretty much a joke when you uh, compare it. Uh, I mean, this, this CryoRig unit is, is a really pretty impressive uh, piece of equipment. I took this picture to show you that this really is about the, the tallest uh, cooler that you could possibly fit into the case. I mean, it comes right up to the, to the surface of the case, um, but the side panel does fit with no issues. So here's a picture of the finished product. Um, I think it looks pretty nice installed in there. Um, another recent upgrade I did was a GeForce GTX 1070. Uh, and at the bottom is my trusty Sound Blaster X-Fi Titanium that I use to run a 5.1 setup using their Dolby Digital Live software. So how does this thing perform? Um, well, I'm not overclocking, so it's not like I'm putting big demands on this cooler. I just needed something that was better than the stock cooler. And like I said, I was getting... Um, idle CPU temps of around 40 degrees Celsius uh, and now after the upgrade I'm seeing um, 
idle temps of uh, low to mid 20s, so a good 15 degrees cooler. I took this screenshot uh, about an hour after I had started running the Prime 95 stress test, and you can see I'm getting, um, you know, average CPU temperatures of low to mid 50s with max temperatures of high 50s, around 60 degrees, which I think is pretty good. Another important thing to point out is uh, this, this cooler is really quiet. In fact, I would say that under heavy load, the cryo rig cooler is actually a little bit quieter than the stock cooler was um, when the computer was idle. So that about sums it up. I uh, hope that you found that helpful and that it inspires some of you Dell computer owners to upgrade from the stock cooling. Uh, it'll definitely get you a cooler and quieter running computer. So anyway, thanks for watching.